Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do an update on my 100 envelope challenge. And we're gonna talk about some challenges that I'm going to have with the remainder of this month and the closing out of this month with our budget. How is that gonna look? What is it gonna look like? Are we gonna be able to do it? Like, what, what are all the things? What do we need? How are we gonna devise a plan? Because something's gotta happen. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amanda. I am 34 years old. I live in Oregon. I'm an all-cash budgeter. I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all on a low income. If that's something you're interested in, because I see a lot of you guys watching and not subscribing, please subscribe to my channel. I am working on getting to 3K subscribers. I would like to get their ASAP, so that way I can give you guys something. Because every time I hit a thousand more subscribers, I'm going to be giving something away. This may be a giveaway of physical items or digital items, but if I do digital, it's for everybody, right? So, I give you guys free stuff. You guys show me some love by subscribing, watching, and commenting, liking as many of my content as you're interested in. So... Let's get into the nitty gritty because I've tried to record this once already and I had a cat come uh, named Gigi, J-I-J-I, not, G not Gigi like grandma, but Gigi like J-I-J-I -I from uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, which is a Studio Ghibli movie. Um, I'm here to try to figure out what in the hell we're doing because I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm trying to be positive, but it's very, very hard. So, this is the breakdown. You're not going to understand any of this mumbo jumbo. But I essentially went ahead to figure out how much I have already got in envelopes for my roof repair. This is an absolute must, you guys. Um, my roof is now le leaking in seven or eight spots. One room I really don't want it to leak in. I can tell you that. Not that I want them to leak in any rooms, but this one particularly pissed me off. So, these are the filled envelopes. That's This is the stack of envelopes that I have. I don't know how many there is here. I didn't really count them. I know that I got this from a subscriber, so I don't know. We'll have to see how many we need to fill. So, we have... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 envelopes filled. That totaled out to be $501. Um, that's if I didn't go over some of these, which I did. I know I put a 20 in for the 19s. Um, I do have some donations from Ko-Fi. Um, from a couple of you guys, um, for sure a big one, um, coming, and I will calculate that in in a second, but in total we still need $1,523 to finish off the roof repair. Um, the reason I am saying Ko-Fi is kind of on a pause is because they partner with uh, PayPal. So we're on a pause with that. Mostly because PayPal puts a hold if you are not a consistent customer of theirs or a seller of theirs. So for instance, when I did eBay, I forgot that it took me like 30 days to really get my crap together on there to be a eBay reseller, which was a really long time ago, but I resold on eBay. Um, I've done reselling most of my reselling was on Facebook marketplace where I actually made a living reselling things but I now remembered why I don't like PayPal plus their fees however if you made a donation and PayPal took out the fee for it I'm going to put that fee back into the donation cuz to me that's that's should be part of the donation and it's kind of effed up but anyway, so here we are. So we need 1523. I know that we have 
roughly around this for the amount of donations, roughly. I still need $823 to finish this challenge off in March. I want to get it done in March. I don't want to wait. Uh, some, some showers are coming in, some possible winters, another winter storm is coming in. So obviously we can't do this right now, but that's okay because I can't do it in the middle of snow and rain and sleet and ice. So we're going to have to wait until spring. So I want to say by April 1st, I want to get this done. We want to get this done. Um, me and, and Jordan, my long haired, uh, uh, <laughs> husband. I don't know why I paused on that. So somebody also asked me the other day if I'm getting a tax refund. I'm not getting a tax refund. Um, there's many reasons why. For one, I don't claim child tech tax credit because I don't. I can just tell you that. Um, my reasons and my ex-significant others, yes, two baby daddies reasons are legal and I don't want to talk about it on YouTube. Um, also, I am self-employed, so I usually owe something at the end of the, of the year. I'm still paying for last year's taxes. I'm not on a payment program, but I'm working on it. Um, I've been kind of keeping that one to myself because I feel like, what I owe and what I pay in taxes does not reflect everyone's experience with being self-employed um, or doing gig work. So everybody has their own special tax thing going on and that's okay. So we are actually gonna be retiring a couple of savings challenges just because I want to, okay? So we are gonna start this one which I've already started it. I put in one and two dollars. So some of this money might go to my brother-in-law who's 23 and he's feeling pretty stifled by his tattooing um, career because he's having a hard time like the rest of us making funds to get things going. Um, so I would give him half of this money, um, which is two thousand dollars to get his tattooing license and some supplies that he wants not necessarily needs but wants and uh if you want to have good product you need to continue to have wants right you know especially when you're tattooing on people it's forever so there is that um we haven't started this uh shooting rainbows challenge yet but we will because it's only a two dollar challenge I wanted to continue on with uh, reinventing Renee's Shut the Box um, from Nerd Co. on um, Etsy. If you don't know, you guys, she's going to be getting rid of this until next year um, by the 29th. So if you don't order this by the 29th, it's gone. It's gone. But there's no money in this envelope. It doesn't mean that we won't be doing Shut the Box throughout the year. It just means that we're going to retire it for the moment and then the weather channel I did write some dates in here just to kind of get this going a little bit more because I feel like if I do save day Sunday game night once a week this would take me freaking forever to do that right most of the year I don't have that so I picked days that I decided to remember to put this in because I'm freaking ADHD and out most of the time and I just put random days and the date and the weather. But we have $15 in here, which you know what? I might pull that money and put it in here for one of the envelopes because that's what this game is going to go to. Um, I am going to retire for now, break the ice because we're close to breaking the ice. But I don't necessarily want to do too many games at once. And I want to play some games that I bought from other shops um, quite a while back. Um, I have one coming in with my play money that I gave myself um, at the beginning of the month from Cindy Cat Budgets. 
We're going to keep going with the step up challenge. I did go ahead and <clears throat> I put the $10 in here. I'm hoping that this will go straight into this, um, this challenge here, which is the 100 envelope in 2024 and 2024 challenge. I'm not going to be doing a 2024 and 2024 challenge again or 2025 because I don't have that kind of money. It's not in my budget and that's okay, right? We haven't started this challenge yet. That's okay. We haven't started the... And this is no longer in my shop, but... Haven't started Iron Giant yet. We haven't started the Let's Go Out Tonight challenge. We haven't started this one. We are working on another one of these, as you can see from the clipping. Um, but I haven't added any money to it yet. Um, we have one of these as well. We're working on Tanya's Budgets and Chaotic Life. I have been watching her channel again. It's been a minute. I don't know how, but Tanya got unsubscribed and I don't know how it happens sometimes. Um, but I'm going to start that down the road. This pizza challenge. This one I'll never probably use. I bought this originally like shoot like over a year ago i don't even remember who it's from if you know then you know that's cool um these are some more challenges that i have this one is from erica from or not erica this is from hands of bands here's some of my really old scratch offs i found these in a drawer and i decided to just add them here and then this is our new section. I have to fix the tab, but this is going to be winter challenges. If you have winter challenges, I know I said this in my last video, but um, I would like to, to give them a shot. If you want to give them to me or trade these for something that I have that's digital, or I can send you a couple of my older digitals that I no longer have in my shop, I'll trade you for a digital winter challenge as long as it's in means of low income. This is one I created the other night. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this up in my shop. I don't know. Let me know. Um, but it's $100. I figured that was easy. And then we just have our regular budgeting stuff. Um, so I'm going to put this into my money pouch which has some bill money in it, not a lot. But I've had a few issues with bills this month, mostly because it's been slow. Um, I did contact Reinventing Renee because she did state she's doing some customized stuff. Um, I would like to see if she can make me a January and a February env envelope for being a month ahead. Um, I am going to be working on my month ahead snowball here uh, once we're done with this challenge. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I work on January and February, not just a general winter fun. So that money went back in here. Let's go over the budget. What do we need? So this is our monthly budget. These are the things that were paid that are highlighted. Um, this is our last stuffing. So, yes. No? This was our last stuffing. So, something I will say that I have seen in the past. We're not completely getting rid of these. I'm just moving this for now. So, I can match up my budget by paycheck for January. So one thing I've noticed is some of you guys are pulling back on it, what, you're, <clears throat> what you're allowing people to see in your videos and I find that great. However, right now I am still showing most everything besides very few things um, that are very personal like my personal bills um, because I want to be as transparent as humanly possible. So why am I not finding a pen? Guys, where's my pen? I know it was here. Why is there a binder down here? I have two binders down here. What the heck? 
Oh, Amanda, this was down here on the shelf. What, what? I knew something was missing. I knew something was missing. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you guys don't know, I reset all this stuff up every single time I make a video. And it can get tedious because... Ah, found a pen. It can get tedious because it is what it is. All right. So these are the things that need to be paid. I got a gigantic bill. Okay, so I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting an actual bill in the mail. So I've been working off of what I think is my current bill. It's not my current bill. I got my current bill and I'm about to literally scream. Like it's a shit the bed situation. So I'm going to wait on utilities to add that to our budget by paycheck for the end of the month. By the way, I get paid Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember. One of those days. Will I have a video out on payday? I don't know. It depends on if I can get to the bank. Um, I'm going to wait on this. I'm going to be transparent. Every year I ask for energy assistance because I'm on low income. I can do that. There is no fault in doing those things. If you need EBT, apply for it. If you need a food box from a food bank, hell yeah, go grab it. If you need to figure out where to do laundry, because maybe you're in a situation like we were and <clears throat> you need to figure out where you can get your laundry done. Um, because when I was living in my previous place in my townhome um, apartment, even though we had an upstairs, downstairs, and a little backyard, uh, we didn't have a washer and dryer. So it was costing us anywhere between, at the end, 20 to $40 a trip to the laundromat. I was doing 10 to 15 um, the year previous, but this last year, man, everything really went up. So if you need those things, please don't hesitate to reach out. It's not an act of pride. Nobody's sitting here looking at you. A lot of people think, hey, everybody's looking at me. No, nobody's looking at you. And if they're in the line for the food bank or they're at the EBT office, what in the heck you think they're there for? Nobody's walking around filming you. Oh, Shane is going to the EBT office again. Nobody really cares. I don't know why I use the name Shane. I don't know. I don't even use a name. I don't know anybody named Shane. Anyway, so we're not going to put our total income. We're not going to put leftover funds. We're not going to put where we're getting our income source and how much it was. Um, I'm not including Etsy money into this quite yet because I would rather go to the roof repair than a bill, but Ooh, sorry. But if it is a bill that it has to go to, oh, well, it is what it is. Because we're here for real. And life is real. I would never give any donation um, money to anywhere other than this box. Because it's a donation and it would go straight to the fund. However, Etsy money is money that I make, that I work really hard for. I make those products. Um, I have spent hours, weeks on things for you guys in my shop. Um, so I feel like that's a paycheck, you know? So we need to pay our car payment. That's number one. And that's the total amount because I haven't had a full-time income plus my gig working, um, which... That's going to change very fast, and I'll explain why. Um, we also need our, so this is actually due on 3.29. I always have my car payment due at the last day of the month because it gives me the whole month to make that eight, 680. <clears throat> it's not exactly what my car payment is. It's still a little bit over my car payment. Um, yes, my car payment is more than my space rent because... I've had this car for three years now. Um, I wasn't always living here. I just moved into this single wide manufactured home a little bit before Christmas. So 
Um, before that, my rent was going to be $1,380. I was paying $1,200. No, $1,300. Yes. Um, close to it. I can't remember. I, that's how mind-boggled I am right now. Um, so we have our space rent, which is due on the... On, uh, what did I write? Did I write three here? No, Amanda. Two. Two. Three, ten, because this is due in March. Why do I, uh, why do I put myself in a predicament to have my rent the month before for the next month? Because then I don't have to worry about it last minute. I know some of you guys are always worried about that. Oh my gosh, your rent's not paid. No, it's, it's already paid. This, the month that we're in which is February has already been paid for. We're now working on March. And uh, that's how I'm always going to do it. So that would be $1,230. And then we have a personal bill. And it is $160. And then everything else is pretty much covered. Um, I do need to fill out my wallet eventually. Um, I do want to put in for emergency. We're going to say $20. Um, there was something else I wanted to put in here, but I can't remember what it was. Hmm... We'll do car maintenance. And we're going to say $15. Um, I was going to add birthdays in here for my kid's birthday coming up in April because I need $300 for the gift he wants. And I want to make sure he gets it because you only have a 13th birthday one time and you don't want to be that parent, right? Um, so... This is hefty. This is going to be rough. Um, I do not know how many hours exactly I have on my pizza job check. Um, I have had weeks where I've worked 10 hours. Um, I've been there almost a month, just shy of a few days of a month. I've only gotten one paycheck for $38.83 um, or $37.83, something like that. Uh, we use that into emergency fund. Um, however, I'm no longer going to be working at the pizza job any longer because I did a little test. I do this when I'm not getting enough hours at a job. I do this every single time. <clears throat> it's called contact your manager. Let them know your situation. Hey, I'm a... Uh, 34 year old woman that has bills and I can't live off 10 hours a week. <clears throat> Last week I was scheduled 20. I did not even work half of my shifts, um, even all the way through. I would work a seven hour shift for five hours, a eight hour shift for six hours. Then I had to take a lunch. So it's really five and a half hours, so on and so forth. Um, but now we're getting to the point where everybody in this company besides the assistant manager and the general manager are getting pretty waxed. Um, you know, we're, we're all like 10 hours, 15 hours a week. And that's if you stay the whole shift because they count labor, you know, when you work at these places. Um, so if labor is 160%, you know, we only sold one pizza in an hour. Um, however, I can tell you guys this for, for a fact, I've been out searching high and low. I applied for every single job that I possibly could in my area that was open that seemed like it could even possibly be eligible for something I can, uh, work for, work and do something that I can learn to do. Um, so I didn't get the job that I really wanted, which was working in the cafeteria of a care facility. Um, but I did, 
Um, I did go on a interview for a job. <coughs> Sorry, I knew I was going to cough. Um, I did go on an interview for a job that I knew that I would be able to get. And that was working at a fast food place again. Do I want that? No. Why are these messed up? That's a budget by paycheck. Anyway, as I go through this. So, I applied. I went ahead and, um... I went ahead and uh, had an interview. I finished off the application process and I go in to do paperwork and start my job on Monday. So, um, I will no longer be working at the pizza job because I don't see it to my benefit at this point. Um, it's not helping me. It's not making anything better. It's not making... A difference if it was just a little side hustle and that's the only side hustle I had yeah I would keep it um, but not for less than 10 hours a week um, you know I was supposed to work until 4 4 30 last night I only worked until 3 30 so that was an hour cut of one of my five hour shifts um, Am I disappointed? Yeah, because I really, I really liked the people I worked with. Everybody jived well. There was a lot of, you know, goofy laughter. There was a lot of, um, slightly snarky slash dry humor. Um, there was a lot of, you know, good times, you know, in the last month working there. So is it a disappointment? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, am I going to go on to this other job and love it just as much as this job? Probably not. Um, do I miss working with my previous crew at the other pizza place? Yes. Am I going to go back to it? No. Um, but I'm ready to move on. I want to um, go back to the way things were um, when things were booming for us. And that was both of us working, whether it be full time or not. I was working like friggin' 120 hours, 130 hours a week. Um, I don't want to do that again. I'll work 40. I'll work 50. You know, I'll work 35. 32 hours in Oregon is full time, by the way. Um, but both of us will be working. Jordan is probably going to be a part time person because it's winter time and he's working at one of the bigger food chains. And so um, they don't like to give a lot of hours when it's slow, you know. So. Um, that means that hopefully by March and April and going into the summertime, we can use gig working money for all of the things that we need to fund in our sinking funds and our savings challenges. We can get some of these goals met. We can get the roof done. Um, and we can go back to being a little bit higher of a tier than being all the way down at the bottom, you know, because it's, this is not fun. This sucks. Today, I'm not motivated. It's hard to be motivated when, <clears throat> honestly, you're struggling. And uh, as much as I want to be a positive person today, I don't think I could do that. And that's okay. We have those days. We're human. So, just as always... Do what you can with what you got, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.